Hello humans, it's Just Martine, and today we're going to see how quickly I can read 24 hours worth of ebooks. This is the second video in a series. I'll put the first video up right here. And basically I'm doing all three of these at once. So it's fair and I'm seeing how long it takes me for each of the categories, audiobook, ebook, and physical book to read 24 hours of that category. It's April 26th and I'm starting this challenge at 10 a.m. So let's get reading. We are almost 48 hours into this and I wanted to give you an update as to how I've been progressing. So far, I'm farthest along on ebooks out of the three categories. So I've read three hours and 44 minutes worth of ebooks. The first day I read an hour and 44 minutes worth and yesterday I read an hour and 35 minutes. The rest has been from this morning so far. I think this is partially for a couple reasons. One, I'm trying to finish a book every day right now and that first day of this challenge I had like a lot of an ebook left but it was the closest I was to finishing a book so I dedicated a lot of time to reading that. But then also I just read a lot of ebooks. I don't know. So that's the update. Hello! It is May 2nd and I had to come in and update you because I am flying on this ebook train. Well, compared to the other two trains I'm on right now. For a day, audiobook got in the lead, but ebooks back on top, I gotta tell you, because I've officially hit eight hours and 10 minutes of reading, which means that I'm a third of the way there to my goal of 24 hours with these ebooks, which is crazy. I knew that I read a lot of ebooks, but I think this is very much putting things into perspective, especially because I have ebooks on like my phone and my iPad and they're easier to hold sometimes than a physical book. And in some ways, like it's better than an audiobook because I enjoy it more. And so maybe I lean towards it more. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, except that I'm busting through the ebooks. I mean, I'm never finishing books as fast as I would like to, but compared to the audiobook and especially the physical book category for this, I'm making progress. I'm steamrolling right through. So I'm curious to see what happens over the next few days. Speaking of which, I need to get back to reading. We've hit 10 hours of ebooks, says Ernie. It's May 3rd. Yay! It is May 6th and I am 15 hours and 11 minutes into my ebook reading, so we are officially over the halfway point. And part of me thinks that this might be exponentially increasing this week because I have so many ebooks I need to get through this week, so we'll see what happens. Howdy! I want to catch you up on this because I finished! <laughs> this is actually the very first category I finished. And the official time that I finished this was May 8th, 8.30 p.m. So I spent about 13 days working on this 24 hours of ebooks. And here's what I learned. I read a lot of ebooks. I already knew this in my mind to be true, but I didn't realize how much time I spend reading ebooks in comparison to time spent reading audiobooks and physical books. Like I knew that I spent more time reading ebooks than I spent reading physical books, but I had no idea it was this disproportionate. I don't think I'm even halfway done with my physical books, but I'm finished with this. So that's great. I think there are several reasons. One, I think ebooks are just more accessible to me and I can have them with me more of the time. Like I can carry around my phone and read on my phone when I'm places. I can also read on my phone in the dark and I can't do that with physical books. I have a light that I could use, but it's not the same as sitting in the pitch blackness and just reading on my phone. It's truly not the same. And I think this would be even more disproportionate if I was back at school in my regular routine, because honestly, the majority of my reading back at school takes place at night in the dark before I go to sleep. So again, just like I said in the audiobook one, I'm going to have to try this again when I'm back at school because now I'm just so curious. I honestly thought I knew how this would all play out and then I didn't. 13 days is just a little under two weeks, which means that I read about 12 hours of ebooks each week. That's a little insane. That's not quite two hours of ebooks every day, but it's up there. And with that said, I'm hoping that in my last video in the series, the physical books, I'll tell you exactly how much ebook I read before I finally hit my 24 hours. Although I think I'm probably going to switch tactics now, but that's not Shh, that's the secret that's for another video. I also feel like probably I read more ebooks because of library loans and due dates. <laughs> I check out a lot of books from the library on Libby specifically, 
and the due dates really creep up and then I panic read books and I really feel like this takes away from my physical reading time. If all of my physical reading time was so pressured from a timeline perspective, maybe I'd physically read more than I do. Apparently, regardless, I'm going to end this experiment here. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and comment down below. Are you more of an ebook reader or a physical book reader? And subscribe for more bookish and college lifestyle content. And until next time, bye humans, bye!